Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be doing pictograms. Hi Niall, and what is a pictogram? Where you use pictures to count information instead of numbers. Okay, and you've got a table there. Can you tell us a bit about that table? Um, our heading for this column is bird, because these are the birds that I saw at the park. Mm -hmm. And then our birds are swan, geese, pigeon and ducks. Okay, and what about the second column? It says frequency, which means like how many. How many, okay. So how many swans did you see? Two. And how many geese? Five. Pigeons? Ten. And ducks? Nine. Brilliant. So how are you going to put that into the pictogram? So we've got the setup for the pictogram on the right. And Here. what's the most important thing in the pictogram? Um, the key. Okay, can you tell us about that key? Um, the key is here. Mm -hmm. It says one circle equals two. Okay, brilliant. So you're going to start filling in that information and can you explain as you go along what you're doing? So basically, on this one, it says one has two. Mm -hmm. So now we have to do that, but just using pictures. Okay, so where are you going to get, where are you going to start? I'm going to start with this one. Okay. And I need one circle. Mm -hmm. Because one circle equals two, and there were two swans. Very good. To get your magnet as well. Uh, magnet. Okay. Okay. So now we have to do geese, and it says geese are five. So we need two of these. Two. And then we need one more, so we'll need half a circle. Okay. Two, four, five. So you're saying that half of the circle represents one bird? Yeah. And can you explain why again? Why is it that half represents one bird? Because one whole circle equals two. And, half, and you need a half two to get one. So you have to half the two to get one. Brilliant. It says pigeon has ten. So we could, let's do two. How many circles are you going to use? Do you want Five. To, because? Because five times two equals ten. Okay, good. So you can grab the five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Now I need five magnets. Mm -hmm. Here's our first two. Mm -hmm. Two. Four. Six. Eight. And finally, ten. Very good. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's the pigeons. What about the ducks? It has nine. So we'll need four circles, which will make eight. And then we need to add a half circle on. So let me just grab our four circles. Two. Two. Four. Six. And the eight. And at the end? Nine. Okay, two, four, six, eight, eight nine. nine. Nine ducks. Brilliant. Okay, now, looking at that pictogram, not at your table, just the pictogram, how can you figure out how many more pigeons you have than swans? Um, you could look at this and then... So basically, we have five circles here and we have one circle here. So how many more circles do you have for pigeons? Four. Four more. And then you can use your key now to work out what that means. So four times two, two times four equals eight. So you would answer the question, there are? There are eight more pigeons than swans. Very good now. Very good.
Okay, now, are you ready for question two? Yes. This one is about the different coloured sweets in a packet of sweets. So what colours can you see in the table? Blue, orange, red and green. Okay. And what's the difference between this question and the previous one? Um, the pictogram is full out and the frequency isn't. Okay, so we're going to be working out the frequency. How many of each colour sweet we've got in the pack? How are you going to start off? Um, I'm going to look at the key. Very good. Always start with the key. What does the key say? One circle equals four, not two. So it's not equal to two anymore, it's equal to four. So yes. can you start working out from the first colour? Um, so two times four equals eight. And then half of four is two. So eight plus two equals ten. Ten. Ten blue sweets. Blue. Ten blue sweets. And what colour comes next? Orange. Okay. So 2 times 4 equals 8. And then another 8 equals 16. Okay, and in case we didn't understand that, what's another way we can do it? 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Or 4 times 4. Or we have... 4 times 4. Okay, so the answer is? Uh, 16. Very good. And before we work out the red, it's got a very interesting shape at the end there. Yeah, it doesn't have a half. Or, yeah, it doesn't have a half. It has a quarter. A quarter. So how much is that quarter going to represent? Um, what's one quarter of four? One. One. Good. So can you count up and see how many reds we have? Um, we have... Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, mm -hmm. thirteen. Thirteen, very good. Okay, now let's look at the colour green. Okay, green. It has another interesting shape at the end. Um, it's not one quarter or a half. It's Three quarters. So three quarters of the circle, or three yes. quarters of? Four. And do you know what three quarters of four is? Yeah. What is it? Three. Okay, so you break it into four equal parts, and three of the four parts will be three. Okay, yes. Good, so can you work out the total amount? Um, so 16, as we worked out here, 17, 18, 19. Very good, Niall. Okay, now let's look at our last question. What information does our table give us? It gives us um, different trees. Yes. Um, the trees are birch trees, we have apple trees, we have rowan trees, and you can't forget maple trees. Maple trees. Okay, and what about the second column? Um, frequency. 12 birch trees, 17 apple trees, 14 rowan trees and 11 maple trees. Very good. And on the right we have a pictogram that's been... The first bit has been filled, filled in for us. Yes, so it's only the first row. What can we see in that first row? We have three squares. Okay. Do we know how much each square no. is worth? No, the key doesn't tell us, which I would normally look at, look at first. So it's a mysterious number. Okay, so is there any way we can figure out how the key works? Um, so we could see how many of this is in our number there. Okay, so we can link the pictures with the frequency. Yeah. So what tree are we looking at? We are looking at our birch tree. And what's the frequency of our birch? Um, three squares. What's the frequency? Twelve. And the pictogram has given us three squares. So what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to divide three by twelve. Other way around. I'm going to divide twelve by three. Very good. You're going to see how many times three goes into twelve. And do you know the answer? Yes. Four. Okay, so that tells us that one of those squares is equal to? Four. 
top so you can put your number in. And can you just check it and make sure? Can you use the, the squares and can you count in fours and make sure it's equal to 12? Four, mm -hmm. eight, mm -hmm. 12. Very good. So can you fill out the pictogram for the other trees? Um, okay. Apple has 17. So Four. Many? Yes. Eight. Four, eight, twelve. Yes. Sixteen. Sixteen. And how many do you need to get? Seventeen. So, so that means one more. One mini square. And what fraction of the original square is that? One quarter. And one quarter of four is? A one. So that's why that little square is equal to one tree. So does that mean I put this on? Yes. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Okay. So what about Rowan? So can you start again putting one square at a time, counting? Okay. And the Rowan needs to have 14 trees. Mm -hmm. So... Four, eight, twelve. So how many more are you missing? Two. So what two fraction of the square? What fraction of the one whole? Half. One half. Or two quarters. Or two quarters, okay. So put it on. So can you just come that up for us again, just so that we know. So, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. Maple, it needs to have 11. Mm -hmm. so okay. So... Start counting again. 4. This is 4. Mm -hmm. 8. How many do you have there? 12 and we won 11. So you've put how many too many did you put? One. Okay. So that means we need three quarters. Three quarters of four is? Three. Okay, so you need three more. So add them again, explaining the numbers so that you're adding together. Four, eight. Yes. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. And Maple has eleven. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, Niall, I have a trick question for you. Yes. You think you can handle it? Easy peasy. I want to know how many trees there are all together. Ooh, not easy peasy. What can we do? Um, I can count all of them and then times it by four. Times all of what by four? What do you count? All counting? the full squares. All of the full squares. Good. So let's start with that. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, let's stop there. So you have twelve full squares. Yeah. So let's work out what what did you say you were gonna do with the number? Times it be by four. So let's work out what twelve times four is. Uh, do you know what ten times four is? No. Oh yeah, I do. 40. Okay, so if 10 times 4 is 40, 11 times 4 is? 11 times 4 is 44. And then 12 times 4? 4. 48. Very good. So we know that we have 48 with the full and square. And then 48, uh -huh. 48 plus another full square. Yes. That I can make with these. Yes. Um, 48 plus 4 equals 52. Yes. And then 52 plus 2. 52 plus 2 equals 54. How many trees do we have all together? 54. 54 trees. Well done, Niall. That comes to the end of today's lesson. Bye, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, subscribe now. Bye, don't forget to press that like button. Bye. Bye. Bye.
bye.